so I'm officially food prepping for a competition that I'm doing three months from now. So um, I have all the containers here. I have about 28 containers and this is not all of them. I actually never food prepped when I competed before. So this is the first time I actually do this. So what I did before is I just used to make a bunch of food. I used to make like a bunch of chicken and just throw it into one container. And then when it was time to eat, like after three hours, I used to measure it out and then put it in the plate. And then, you know, same with like the brown rice and the vegetables and stuff like that. I used to just measure it all and then put it all the, right at that moment. And so, which was kind of a little irresponsible, I guess if you want to call it. So this time I'm doing it the right way and I'm going to food prep, meal prep. So, um, and one of the reasons why I'm doing it also is because I'm not just making meals for myself now, I'm also making meals for a three-year-old. So uh, she comes first before me and so she's a little unpredictable. Life's un a little unpredictable when you have a three-year-old. So um, this is very important to have my meals prepared ahead of time so that I can just grab and go. So right here I have all of my beautiful containers and behind me I have all of the food that I'm going to make you or make myself. And I have some lovely chicken breasts. I have some cod plays. I'm going to cut up some strawberries and freeze them for my lovely smoothies, my protein smoothies. Uh, I have some salad. I'm going to make some salad for my dinners. Uh, I have some steamed, uh, well, I'm going to have some green vegetables. I have green beans. And let's see. I have some uh, very large cucumbers. Let's see. Uh, I have some raw cashews. And brown rice, unsalted rice cakes. Some avocados for some healthy fats and yams, and some organic almond butter, and some 99% uh, uh, fat free ground turkey. So that's about it right now. I'm gonna cook all that up really quick and lay it out here beautifully for all of you to see, and I will be right back. All right, guys, I'm back and I'm exhausted. Here you have it. I have all my meals cooked for the rest of the week. Um, they're laid out here. As you can tell, I don't have as many containers laid out that I had when I when I last was on here. I had like a million containers and now I only have like 16, I think. Um, I just ended up making the meals for the rest of the week, so I have four more days left for this week, and then come Sunday, I'll make uh, the next seven days for next week. Um, I, you know, I literally was in the kitchen for like four hours today, making just for the next four days, and I was tired of making chicken, and I've got this for I don't know how many more months to come, and you know, I just I was just tired. Um, so I was exhausted of making chicken, so I just ended up, at, you know, making the four days, and um, and here you have it. So I have um, two snacks here. I have my lunch and I have my dinner, and uh, the other meals were like breakfast and a snack, um, you know, like a shake uh, before dinner. I still have to cut off my strawberries. I haven't even done that yet. That'll probably add on another 30 minutes uh, to with the other four hours that I already prep today. So. Um, I'll give it to you guys like meal prepping it takes time and it takes it takes a lot of time and um, You know, I'm probably gonna do this every Sunday and um, It's tough. It's a lot of work and I'm not looking forward to it and uh, it's just another another thing you got to put in to uh, you know making things happen, so uh, You know even my daughter sat here on her iPad watching me cook today and 
she got so bored that after a while she uh, she turned it off and said, you know, mom, you're a, you're a fun sucker. <laughs> she said, I'm leaving, I'm going to grandma's. So she left and she went over and played at grandma's while I cooked. So um, yeah, so I, so I finished up here and um, you know, I got about 1500 calories uh, that I eat daily and um, it's all wrapped up here. And uh, like I said, I'll be doing this weekly, and I thank you guys for joining me on my food preparation, and uh, and I hope you join me on my videos that I'll be doing weekly. So, I'll see you next time.